welcome to part two of our 3D printed mold tutorial where we build a quadcopter. First, we need to mount the quad's arms to the center frame, ensuring the plates are securely bolted together to hold the arms tight. Next, we begin to mount our KK2 flight control board to the center frame. We like the simplicity of the KK2 board, but you can substitute many other available boards with our design, as you can see on Thingiverse. Once our power distribution board and flight controller are mounted, we prepare our motors for mounting to the quad's arms. Measuring carefully, we ensure the motors are equal distances from the center of the frame to produce a nice flying quad. Next, we install our roll cage designed to protect our flight control board in the event of a crash. We'll have bonus video footage of how we made this with BJB's high impact casting polyurethane. Now, it's time to clean up all of our wiring with zip ties. It's important to keep the wires secure to the frame to prevent unnecessary damage to them. We finish up wiring the speed controls for the flight control board and then plug the radio receiver wires into the board as well. A few more zip ties and wire shielding to clean up the install. And finally, we bond the flex foam landing pads we made in our 3D printed mold to the quad's arms and fasten the battery to the frame using Velcro straps. Now our quad is ready to fly.